I think Cincinnati knows they're losing him. They signed Sheldon Rick Rankins as a counter move uh, to to fill the void. This guy has a reputation as a run stuffer at the defensive tackle spot, and right now that room is kind of empty. It's it's only got uh, well, I mean, Aline McNeil is the only sort of known, counted on starter. Outside of that, you're looking at guys like Broderick Martin, Tyson Alulu, Levi Anzarike. They need another starting defensive tackle. And Alulu's a free agent, I think. <sighs> I thought he was under contract, but maybe he is a free agent. Either way, um, it would make sense that he's a free agent. I don't know why they'd sign him to a multi-year deal. Bottom line here is, is Reader, I mean, they need to bring in more than just DJ Reader. <laughs> you know, it could be a draft pick added to the mix. Um, but... As a run-stuffing defensive tackle next to Aline McNeil, yeah, I think you're better if he's healthy, but not, like, great up front and in the middle of the defensive line. It, But better, yeah, I, I think he's better than their other options there right now. But is he better than when Bugs was playing well last year? Um, You got some guys that can slide inside as well. I don't know. I mean, it just feels like this would be – this would be another, hey, they got a little bit better, but not a lot better kind of move. Yeah, I don't know what kind of money he's going to command. Defensive tackles have gotten paid this uh, this offseason. Yep. So I don't know how much he's going to get. get. Um, I have my concerns of how the free agency has gone to this point because there are still some free agents out there that I think would be better options than what the, what the Lions have signed. They'd be better players. I don't know if they're better options because you don't know what they, they will eventually sign for. But when the smoke clears, I think that's when we're going to look at things and say, mm, well, you could have had this guy for this if you had waited. Instead, yep. you did you jump the gun in, tra- in trading for Carlton Davis and committing the $14 million to him this year? Are you going to sign to a, an extension and, and commit even more money to him? Did you jump the gun and sign Marcus Davenport to a one-year $10 million a year uh, deal when – you could have waited things out and seen what what shakes out with some other. So some of the num- numbers on Davenport, I'm glad you brought them up because we haven't talked about. It. it sounds like it's closer to six and a half million, and with incentives, it could take it up to ten. That's a lot of incentives um, for him. But I still look at their situation. Like Mike Williams became available, and I don't think they're going to sign Mike Williams, a wide receiver from the Chargers. But players like that become available the entire off season, and I I think if they sign Reader, I wouldn't be surprised. If that kind of slows it down almost to a grinding halt and then Brad Holmes plays the waiting game and just waits and waits and waits to see if the right guy becomes available. Well, I may be willing to play the waiting game right now and not sign Reader because I don't know if Reader is going to make this team that much better. I'm not I'm not against it. I'm just I'm just I'm cautious about this one. I'm not sure. What's if this different one about this one than some of these other ones that you've liked in terms of, hey, it makes him better at the position. I think a track record or guys that don't have the injured history. I think that's that's one thing. You know, Davis had an injured history. I'm not thrilled about the Carlton okay. Davis signing. I mean, because you traded a third round pick and you get a guy who's you're paying fourteen million dollars to who's been hurt. Kang, do you like would you want to see DJ Raider signed? You know, obviously if the money's right, I I don't know if you have to put that qualifier in there. No one wants to overpay for a guy who's been injured a few times the last few years. I think his role would be, you saw what the Lions did at the end of last year when they started running out on D linemen, Tyson Alulu, like they were grabbing guys that hadn't played all year because they needed bodies in the middle to help put alongside Ali McNeil. And Ali McNeil ends up getting hurt, so they really needed guys, right? So I think what Brad Holmes is doing is he's getting a guy who's got a reputation in the league. Unfortunately, one of the parts of his reputation is he has been hurt. But when he's healthy, he can help stop the run. And this defense was really good at stopping the run last year, and you don't want to stop that, right? So I'm not against it. Uh, like I said, if the money's right, I, I they definitely need bodies, though, because there's, they not, there's, not, yeah, a lot, there's yeah. not a lot there right now. This guy, but <laughs> it's it's getting to the point where it's clear Brad Holmes, part of his formula is get a guy cheap coming off an injury. And, I, if, you know, that's risky, man. It's He's taking some chances that, that those guys won't, get hurt again uh another report came out almost a half an hour ago detroit lions uh, anthony Pittman, linebacker plans to sign with the commanders this from tom pelissero mm-hmm. played every game over the last three seasons with detroit he's a special teams guy and backup linebacker but um just a lion it's a little note there that he is uh no longer going to be a lion and they'll have to find 
somebody to replace him on special teams because I get it. I played every game last three years. They're always going to have to find depth guys. I don't know if Reader it is Reader strike. He doesn't strike me as a depth guy. He strikes me as a guy that they plan to plug and I play. Would think he'd, I think he'd be a starter in the Pittman, middle. Isn't Pittman a linebacker? Yeah, okay. a linebacker, special teams guy. Okay, um, but does Reader bring them exactly what they want from a culture fit? Well, and that's that's the big thing with these guys. Do and you even get a visit anymore? <laughs> if they or is that is that what they're interviewing him for? I think it's part of it. Yeah. I think they probably know. I mean, guys, they already. I, I would imagine the coach and GM have a pretty good idea about personnel throughout the league. One would think. Reputation. 